were out on the road early this morning near 10th Street on Tamiami Trail, you may have noticed fire trucks and lots of lights. SNN's Crystal Knowles has the details about the boat that caught fire. The parking lot debris at Centennial Park boat ramp almost gone. A street sweeper attempting to erase the burnt marks. Shortly after 5 a.m., fire crews responded to a call. As Sarasota County Fire Department EMS Chief Carson Sanders explains. When we arrived, we, there was a 31-foot boat on a trailer fully involved. The owner was nowhere in sight. The fire put out, make sure nothing surrounding it catches on fire. The fire caused all of this damage, melted plastic and charred interior. It was fully involved, so that would indicate that the entire boat was on fire. It took us about 15 minutes to get it under control. And Jim Ferguson, owner of Marine Engineering, says in his 40 years of boating experience, he's never seen a fire like this. And I noticed that it was burned mainly in the center of the boat, not towards the motors. Therefore, I suspect either someone maybe set it on fire or something possibly in the center console area caught it on fire. Ferguson estimates the 2006 Stamus Tarpon to have been worth anywhere between forty and fifty thousand dollars. The motors might be worth something but for the most part there's nothing left there worth anything. He says leaving your boat unattended overnight is not a good idea. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. In Sarasota, Crystal Knowles, SNN, Suncoast News Network. And we spoke with the city and there are no surveillance cameras in the boat ramp parking lot and the state fire marshal is taking over the investigation.